Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lala Day, and in today's video I have something new. A new way to protect my natural hair. A wig. Well, wigs aren't necessarily new for me, but it's been a very, 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 very long time since I've incorporated wigs as a protective style. And when I do choose to wear a wig, I just can't seem to gear away from the natural kinks and curls. Now, gluing down a lace is a skill that I have not mastered yet. And for all my girls who have that ability and skill, for some of us, we're still in training. Honestly, I am so glad that there are wigs out there that are made for beginners like myself and that only take a couple minutes to install, like Her Given Hair's three-in-one half wig. So while I was unboxing my wig, I see that it comes with four combs attached, one on the top, one on the bottom, and one on each side. It also comes with a jawstring. So it looks like we can even achieve a ponytail, even a bun with this wig. So now before I put my wig on, I want to prep this hair by co-washing it. So the first thing that I did was soak the hair in water. I noticed that some of the color kind of came out a little bit. That's why you see that the water is a little bit red, a different color. So I just dumped that water out and put new water. So after rinsing out the colored water, I went ahead and put some more water and then began co-washing. So I added some conditioner. I really did not want to disturb the curl pattern too much, so I decided that I wanted to finger detangle the same way that I finger detangle my own natural hair. And so after detangling, I go ahead and put it in a twist and move on to the next section of the hair. So I actually did this step yesterday, so the hair is dry and ready to go. But before we get into the wig, I want to make sure that my hair is prepped and ready for the wig. Because before I put in any protective style, I want to make sure that my hair is moisturized and my scalp is well taken care of. Right now, my hair is currently in mini twist. I washed my hair last week, so we are due for a re-moisturizing. When it comes to protective style, it's so important to do this step, you know, and take your time doing the moisturizing step before putting any protective style in. So now that my hair is moisturized, we cannot forget our scalp. So I'm just gonna put some grease on my scalp. Yes, do a nice scalp massage. So because I'm working with a half wig today, I'm gonna be flat twisting away the back half of my hair and untwist the front half. It's even perfect that I have twist in my hair because I feel like the curl pattern that a twist out gives me is similar to the curls on the wig. So it should blend seamlessly. I have 4B and 4C hair and this wig is their kinky 4B, 4C wig in the color 1B. So this should be good. You know, I just moisturized my hair and I know if I take these twists down right now, they're gonna frizz up and I still wanna keep that curl texture. So what I'm gonna do is actually use my Revair to dry my hair and to also elongate my twist. So as y'all can see, there's already a difference in length, right? So that's what we wanted, that's good. And now we are ready to try on my half wig. So I don't have a wig cap. It's been a while since I've um, tried on a wig, but I am going to be using my Grace Alea's beanie, my Grace Alea's beanie, slash bonnet, slash, you know, is this satin? on the inside. So I'm gonna be using this as my wig cap today. Put this on, let's see, 
clip it in the front first, right under the wig cap. My hair texture is the wig texture. And when I put it together, you can even tell the difference. So this is my hair and this is her given hair, okay? It seems as if the sun is coming out. It's a bit rainy today, so if y'all are seeing like a change in lighting. This is how the hair looks after cleaning it it's a bit stiff it's getting stiff it needs some you know fluffing and molding and i'm just gonna do that and allow the curls to breathe a little bit so it's not all clumped up together and this is their 20 inch wig and now i'm just gonna just have my hair blend in with that as well I'm just gonna allow the hair to fill in and fall where it should. Use my fingers to separate. Okay. This is really, really nice. What I'm doing here is a lot of um, separating. So kind of like detangling in the way. I kind of want her to be flowy in a sense, not so much stiff clumped together. I want her to open up a little bit, you know. Let the personality of the hair come out. Like I mentioned, this hair is 20 inches, so it's very long. Wow. I can't wait for my natural hair to be like this, get this long. But for now, we're going to stick with the half wig. Until then. <laughs> Installing this wig literally took me just a few minutes, so it's really beginner friendly. I'm really happy that this is a half wig because there is no stress on my edges, which is wonderful. And having a wig that is low maintenance, low tension, it's a plus. Ooh, so pretty. I feel like this twist out look really blended well with the curl pattern of the wig so much. Such a good choice. Ah. What do you guys think of this wig? Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Did it blend well? Did it not? Would y'all try doing like a twist up for this look or your natural hair? Would y'all try using gels? Let me know what you guys think. I want to give a big thank you to Her Given Hair for sending me this beautiful wig and for making this video happen. And I want to give a bigger thank you to you guys that have made it this far into today's video. If you are not yet subscribed, you already know, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed, it really helps me a lot. And turn on your post notifications so you're notified every single time I post a new video. I do not want you guys to miss, okay? I love you guys so much, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.